So we all know about electric cars, right? Everyone knows those. What about the next big frontier of electric stuff, such as, well, electric trucks, or maybe electric diggers, or even the batteries needed to charge them on site? Well, check this out. And this is an electric excavator, and this is Noel. And tell me, why would anyone buy one of these things instead of a traditional combustion one? Yeah, the main reason I believe in uh, going electric on a digger, especially on uh, commercial sites and plus you're working on residential areas, the sound pollution, and plus if you're looking at a financial background, it's more cost effective to run an electric digger because you're saving maintenance on fuel cost and basically the digger will run around eight hours. Oh, eight hours? Eight hours runtime. And basically the digger is not gonna, even a diesel digger is not gonna run continuously on a site. It will do its share work here and there, stop for a while. So eight hours runtime is very easy on this. And plus you get a 40 minutes charge time. 40 minutes to charge? 40 minutes charge because this runs a 70 kilowatt battery and you're looking at about minimum usage 20% and then you're gonna charge it up. So 40 minutes on a fast charger. What sort of customer would buy this instead of like a traditional one? People who are running on projects on uh, residential areas and sites where they can be more cost effective, especially on construction projects where the councils are looking at going more emission okay. uh, free. So it's cleaner and it's quieter, quieter, but is it cheaper to operate? It's like initial cost is a little bit expensive, okay, but so, okay, so on, the, on the long term, you're looking at saving more on the fuel and the maintenance on these type of electric okay, equipment. So it's like an electric vehicle, like an electric car, more expensive initially, but then makes you money in the long run. Long term. Can I, uh, can I ask, what is the price? The price is around 198,000 plus GST. Okay. So yeah. that's, how much more is that than a t traditional uh, digger? It's about 100, maybe about 100,000 around that figure. But, they, but uh, the, the, those ones, like that, that noisy one over there, that yeah. thing is burning through diesel, burning thousands through of litres a day. day and, and the other thing is the electric has more grunt. Oh, so, oh okay, so it's not weaker. It's, it's more powerful really? than a diesel machine because electric motors have more grunt, more speed and more efficient. Basically, we have been stuck with diesel and we don't want to evolve with electric, but electric, everybody who have hopped into an electric uh, excavator, electric loader, electric truck has come out with a very different feedback. They just stand out and look at a diesel and think electric is not going to outperform a diesel machine. But that has been proven in the market. We have already around five 20 ton electric loaders for our operation and we got one electric digger down in Isaac already operational and they are loving it big picture big picture big picture cheaper faster cleaner better better yeah okay know. that sort of sells itself Sell, really. <laughs> yeah basically okay so imagine you've rocked up to the job site you've dug a hole yeah uh, and then what do you do with the dirt without arriving in a dirty diesel i'm sort of leading you into the thing behind it, us which it, is which is uh, electric this. tipper truck okay so oh so this does actually tip yeah we can drive and tip at the same time so you the digger can load up the material on it and then you take it to a disposable site. After your project is over, you can load, we got the ramps for it. So you, oh, can, so you can drive up on the back. You can load your electric digger onto the electric truck. Electricity on the earth moving and roading equipment are seen more productivity and more savings. Okay, run me through some technical specs of this beast behind me. What size battery does it have? Uh, this one runs a 120 kilowatt battery pack. So this is a 12 ton GVM truck and uh, you have a capacity of around uh, taking uh, the uh, tear weight of the truck and the body uh, looking around 5 ton and you have about 6 ton loading uh, capacity on it. The range depending depends on, on how much, how much you're obviously. hauling and uh, depends on the driver, uh, depends on the climate and you know the road conditions and also you're looking at around uh, Highway speeds, uh, maybe around 120, 150, but say one side em empty, one side loaded, then you're looking at around that 150 to 170 range. Okay, right. But and these are not designed to be high distance, uh, long distance long cruises, distance, they're, 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 they're local just city, uh, yeah. city side, small construction work where you do your construction work, tip it out, you know, come back to site. And the best part of the, uh, the beast is that you can charge it in 
one hour with a fast charger. Okay, so let's say you've got your digger on site, you've got your tipper truck on site, and they're both out of, out of electricity, they're both flat. And let's just say there's no power on the site. Aren't you stuffed? How do you charge it? Yeah, the best part is we have a charging trailer that can charge the equipment on site, where you don't need to take them off site. This, you gotta see. Well, what is this? Tell me, what is this? This is a battery on wheels, right? Battery on wheels and it's uh, 200 kilowatts of uh, power. 200 kilowatts? 200 kilowatts. So, what else? so, so what's the battery in the digger? 70 kilowatt. And what's the battery in the tipper truck? 120 kilowatt. So now I'm not a mathologist, but that you could basically fill both of these up, up. with one charge on this. One charge on it. I mean, but you wouldn't be filling this up on site anyway, because this goes off site, it's got, it's got wheels. With one battery in it, you can charge four diggers. Actually. Okay. Or, or, I'm getting excited now because I've never seen anything like this before. Okay, so we've got two CCS plugs, right? Yeah. So you can two. charge two vehicles at once. At once, at uh, 90 kilowatts. 90 kilowatts. Yeah. Right. So each gun will deliver 90 kilowatts. Okay, so 180 kilowatts max, 200 kilowatt hours capacity. Yeah. But it's got more stuff behind here, right? Yeah. Can you please open this up because this is cool. This is not. This is not just for charging equipment like trucks and diggers and cars and everything on site. It's basically this is a, a equivalent of a silent generator. A generator but with very little cost and no emissions. We got the AC outputs also. So if you're using DC plus you can use AC to run your construction equipment like pumps, small generators and stuff out of this itself. And then using uh, diesel, uh, battery, uh, petrol powered ones. And the good thing is you can slow charge this at your industrial site. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is a charging site. Charging site, so you can charge it at your uh, three-phase 65 amp okay. AC plug-in. So you can slow charge it. Plus, if you want the battery charge more faster, just take it down to Z. Oh, so on your way to the job site, you can just plug it in off a, on a, a high fast, power charger. Fast charger, and that will accept 130 kilowatts at uh, 250 amps. Okay. So you're looking at charging this around within about uh, say one hour, 90 minutes. One hour, okay. Yeah, depends on how much uh, energy it's available at the charging site. But you'd, side. you'd be more likely, unless you're traveling around the country, you'd probably charge it at your three phase. Three phase, you're supply, looking right? at about four to five hours. Okay, yeah. so you could be running, you're charging your diggers, two diggers on site, Plus you're, you're running right. all your equipment, Yeah. and then after a couple of days, take it home, take it to the office, office, plug it in. Plug it in, yeah. Okay, so this is obviously a 200 kilowatt hour battery. This battery, has got yeah. to weigh a lot. How heavy is it? Uh, it's a 2.7 ton. 2.7 tons. Yeah, with the trailer and everything, it's around 3.2. Now, can I ask the uh, the price? I want, uh, to, I want to see if I need to sell my ovaries to afford one of these. It's 215,000 plus GST. 215,000, yeah, okay. A complete unit with the trailer and everything. All right, I'll, yeah. have to, I'll sell my house. Let's, let's fire it up first and have a look. So it's got a built-in screen. Oh, I just got that. Lithium ion phosphate younger, life yeah. oh, oh, right, okay, life younger. I thought it's like you know, one of those cringy slogans, yeah. like build Slogan. your dreams. Yeah, you know? build your <laughs> dreams, yeah. <laughs> this is quite an advanced unit. You can read quite a lot of in information. Normally, on il any electric equipment or cars, you cannot read the cell, uh, cell voltage oh, on okay. individual cells, but this battery pack and this monitor, you can read, read individual cell voltages cool. on them. And plus you got your gun A, gun B, you got your AC, DC output, EV charging, DC output about the system and battery information. If you go to battery information and if you go single cell information, oh, it shows you all the battery all cell the cells. Yeah, there is around 220, uh, 220 cells. cells. Yeah. Can we see inside? What, what does it look like under the covers? Yeah. Oh, far out. So, okay, that's got to be the, the, the backups, the auxiliary battery. The auxiliary battery. And these are the battery the packs. Unit. So these are yeah. your high voltage battery packs. Okay, it's high voltage packs. That's the circuitry that makes the AC-DC yeah. work. Is so the bottom part is all battery. And then you've got your uh, BMS uh, modules and your cooling system fans. That's fantastic. I've never yeah. seen anything like this. And all the years I've been fascinated with electric tech. This is a first. And this is just the beginning, I'm sure. Like, have, yeah. you, have you, I mean, these aren't cheap, but have you guys, how many have you got in the country? Uh, so we have got two. We have uh, already uh, sold one to Isaac's Construction. We've already sold uh, one? Yeah. Far so out. It's already operational and it's down in uh, Christchurch, uh, where it's charging our 20-ton uh, uh, EV loader. Can we can we see it in action? Yeah, sure. All oh, right, this would be cool. I'm going to charge an electric truck and electric digger at the same time. This is fantastic. While he's doing this, I should probably point out that if you are going to get some electric equipment, what you should probably do 
is figure out where your electricity comes from. The easy way to do that is just join Ecotricity. If I'm serenaded by a combustion vehicle behind me, I'll bet he'll be saving money if he was running on Ecotricity Electricity. Head to ecotricity.co.nz. It's New Zealand's only certified climate positive electricity provider. Once you go green, you won't go back. But meanwhile, let's plug this thing in. This is, like, this is an absolute first, eh? High power DC charging on wheels, electric truck, electric excavator, electric batteries, There's electric refrigerated truck. That's insane. Oh, also, while this is being fired up, uh, e trucks is introducing, they've got a fleet of Tesla lookalike trucks that are on their way over very soon from China. So hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be checking those out. Go for a drive in one of those very soon. Those are very exciting. Okay, so these things are firing up, it's booting up the system. Okay, so what's it doing now? Yeah. It's booting up to oh, yeah. charge. So oh, yeah. that I is see the charging. Lights flashing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So gun B. Yep. Is that one? That's the is truck. The, is the truck. That's at and 70 charge. Yeah. Oh, so, so you can switch doesn't... between what's yeah. which so, is charging. Okay. So now if I go gun A, it's 77 percent, and that's the digger. So this is actually the kilowatts what is drawing on a low monitor. But uh, the kilowatts reading here, the charging capacity actually the current it's drawing. Okay. It's showing on the amp sensor. Man, this is amazing. Like, I know it's pretty tragic that I'm getting excited over this stuff, but I've never seen anything like that, and I love clean tech. So this, this is a remarkable bit of kit. Well, this is obviously pretty cool stuff. I'm pretty jazzed, as you can tell. But the last time I did a video of me operating an electric digger in a field, uh, some people on Facebook got really passionate, is probably the right word to describe it. Uh, we got some really interesting feedback. And one commenter, he stated that the minute they make me operate a battery powered digger is the day I walk off site. I mean, and it's obviously happening. So what would you say to guys like that? It's really to know if the person really have operated an electric digger because the feeling of a real operator who has operated a diesel digger operating an electric digger has jumped into this digger and currently they are operational in New Zealand. They are loving them. And, and these are so guys that used to operate only operate diesel. diesel diggers and for the first time in their life they are operating uh, electric uh, diggers and electric uh, equipment and they're not walking and, off site and they don't <laughs> want and, and they don't want to share the equipment with anybody else oh, they really? want they want to hold on to it come to e trucks try the electric digger if you don't try it you will no, not know the feeling of how it can perform so my comment is come try electric digger Try it out first. First. All right. Okay. Stay tuned. Some really cool e-truck stuff coming very soon. Mm -hmm.